Hospitality Studies channel. This channel is created to share the knowledge of hospitality industry studies to hoteliers and hotel management students. Kindly subscribe this channel and click the notification to get every video updates from this channel. If you like the video please share the video with your friends and hoteliers. Thank you. Let's go to the video. In this video, we going to see about different methods of cooking. Kindly watch the video till the end. Cooking techniques. Heat can be transferred by following three methods. Two or three of these methods may be combined as well. 1. Conduction. 2. Convection. 3. Radiation. Let's discuss more in details in upcoming slides. Conduction is the passage of heat through a solid or one solid to another provided they are in contact. Meaning pot on a hot plate. Copper heats up very quickly and evenly but does not retain heat well. Stainless steel, iron and ceramic cookware on the other hand retain heat well. Convection involves the transfer of heat in liquids and gases. In heating liquids or gases, convection currents are produced which distribute the heat. For example when water is heated in a saucepan, the water at the bottom is heated first. It rises to top because it is lighter and the heavier cold water takes its place at the bottom of the pan. Radiation method. It is a passage of heat in straight rays from the hot object. Any hot object in the part of the rays becomes hot. Example like gas and electric grill. Boiling. Boiling is cooking by immersing the food in a pan of liquid which must be kept boiling all the time. Boiling temperature is 100 degrees C. Vegetables are boiled at 100 degrees C. Blanching means placing food item in a cold water and bring to boil. Poaching. Poaching is cooking gently in water which is just below boiling point 93 degrees C to 95 degrees C. Food items should be completely immersed in the liquid and left in throughout the cooling process. As soon as the liquid with the food item begins to boil, lower the temperature to allow poaching. Steaming. Steaming is cooking food by moist heat. Steam can be done by direct or indirect methods. Steaming is done when the food is placed in a closed pan which is surrounded by plenty of steam from fast boiling water. Stewing. It is a time-consuming method of cooking. Stewing is gentle simmering in a small quantity of water, stock or sauce until the cut food items are tender, meaning soft. Stewing is done in covered saucepans or casseroles on top of the cooker or an oven in a low temperature. This is combined method of roasting and stewing. In a pan with tight fitting lid or casserole, braising is done to prevent evaporation so that the food retains its own juices together with some flavor. For example meat is first browned in little fat and then cooked in sealed pan to retain juice and flavor. Roasting Cooking of large pieces of meat on a turning spit over an open fire, which is grilling or barbecue. Traditional methods of roasting are 1. Pot roasting 2. Oven roasting 3. Spit roasting 4. Tandoori method Grilling Cooking by the grilling method began years ago, when meat was placed near or over an open fire. 
The source of heat may be from charcoal, gas or electricity. Meat is seasoned with salt and pepper and brushed on both sides with oil and kept on top of grill bar and the heat radiation comes from the bottom to cook the meat. Broiling. Broiling is cooking by direct heat and is used synonymously with grilling. It could be done by source of heat above or below. It is dry cooking and can be done by iron bars or pan broiled where the food is uncovered. The pan or grill is oiled slightly to prevent sticking, excess fat removed. Baking. Baking is cooking of food by the action of dry heat in an oven. The degree of dryness of heat may be modified by the amount of steam produced from the item baked. During baking the mixture or moisture in the product expands by air, steam or carbon dioxide. Frying. Food is fried when it is placed or immersed in oil or fat at a sufficient temperature. Frying used to brown the surface at least and partially or completely cook the interior of the food. Frying adds flavor to otherwise bland and tender food. It also creates crisp crunchy texture. There are two types of frying. One deep frying, two shallow frying. Thank you for watching this video. I believe this video was useful for you. If you like the video kindly share it with your friends, hoteliers and hotel management students. See you on the next video with an another interesting hospitality topic.